to uh, the 2000s. I think this is a really cool look. I think there's a reason he sent me two of these <laughs> where I can make a Chris Cole spoof skate video. Can't forget about this. We have a third. <laughs> this is our clutch pedal. This is gonna go from the clutch slave on the inside of the transmission. Our T56 F body Magnum to the pedal. All right, there's a lot in here our brake line relocation, like everything you need for like a good solid motor build, like the additional components, it's right here. You can carry this around as a flask, bring it to a wedding. This looks to be our hydraulic lines for the hydro e-brake. Nice. This is our steering rack kit. This is our coolant filler neck. This is gonna screw right on to our Chase Bay's radiator. Not only is this a brake booster delete, it is also an ABS delete. So sexy. This is actually a reverse mount. Basically what that means is you can tuck this away under the center console. You'll never see anything except for this. And you just wanna see this nice shaft. That's a nice shaft. Isn't that nice? It's pretty nice. It's a nice shaft. Yeah. Looks like a coolant reservoir. I would just use this as a flask. Yeah, that's the well. bigger flask. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We cut a little too high on our fender, so we had to add a little bracket to get a well nut in there.
Dang, you're buff. I know, right? Dude, I look like a UPS worker. If I ever wanted to work at UPS, I could just send in this video and be like, hey, hire me. <laughs> this would make for a great. Like a worker for UPS. This would make for a great application video. You like yeah, banging the I package up. Hey, be careful. There's. Oh, the garage. All right. Yeah, but you almost dropped it like five times now. I'll even place it on a chair for you guys. Like, come on, hire me. Keep us down. It's pretty good. Zach, <laughs> with his rear hubs on the yeah. build. Do we have them? Where are they? So here's the 5 bolt, 5 by 120 hub. We're gonna throw this on so we can run the nice Kansai wheels. SRS Concepts big brake adapter. Yep. For the E30. And that's gonna be for the Sparta Evolution big brake kit to go on there. Yep. Let's start the time lapse. couldn't get a bolt in, so we just took one of our stripped extra lug nuts and welded it straight to the hub. And uh, this has never been removed. So. Luke just got it. That was the biggest pain. So all you gotta do is just slide her on in with with just the push of your two fingers. come in we'll put the adapter kit on the side and we'll be able to run some big E36 M3 big brakes in the meantime we've done all the hard work and research on figuring out the left side I don't think it'll take that long on the right side Oh, 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 oh. 
goodness that was a lot of work five lug conversion complete not too bad we're gonna have to obviously close up this seal these areas off that was a lot of work um, so what did we do wheel bearing z4 hub five lug conversion we got the sparta evolution rotors installed as well as the brake caliper adapter and the SSR Concepts E36 M3 brake conversion adapter. So there's two adapters connected. It's We got both sides done. Oh boy. Look at that clearance on this side. Here we didn't do the square cut. We just went with a round. Looks like we got a lot of clearance on the right side, the front of the wheel, the back of the wheel, not so much. Granted, this is where things are gonna be when it's slammed to the ground, but it's also possible that this is prohibiting us from going lower, so might need to cut into that a little more. Hood pins installed. That was also a pain. We have finished the hood conversion. It is now a fully functioning hood. Let's take these off. Look at that. Look at that, oh my gosh. This is so awesome. We actually did a proper hood conversion and it lifts up like a regular hood now. It's tomorrow, we're taking this, loading it on a trailer, bringing it down to Lacey, Washington, getting the turbo kit installed, the intercooler piping, the intake, the downpipe, the uh, wastegate, the blow off valve, the turbo, everything's gonna connect to the exhaust manifold. We're gonna bring our mock-up motor here with our Garrett GTX 3582R and our Rapid Spool Industries exhaust manifold already. We're doing this because our actual motor is going to be assembled at CND Motorsports up in Kirkland and Cameron's gonna be able to film that while I'm down in Lacey uh, worrying about this. We have literally like 11 days. I think we're just gonna have to be late. Either way though, I do see everything coming together um, keeping everything organized in my head and being able to organize this build logistically uh, while editing this build series and continue a production, making clients and sponsors happy, you know, fulfilling what we promised we would do for them is a big part of this. And then the actual building of the car coming into the garage, sliding away every day is, uh, has been a lot. This is gonna be so awesome when it's done. Still need to get those three inch spacers in the rear, get the track pushed out pretty far in the back. Still debating whether we're gonna run the 18s or the 17 Kanzai KNPs. We've got 17 KNPs coming in the mail still. Love the functionality of the air ride system. It's seriously amazing. I'm gonna roll this toward the front of the garage after we move things out of the way. Get packed up, get this thing loaded up on a trailer. Wish me luck. This is uh, pretty freaking crazy. Mm -hmm.